FTR might be ending 2023 as the top tag team, but for me, this is FTTTD. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And by that, I mean fuck the tag team division because if FTR is the best thing that we have in tag team wrestling in 2023, then we are absolutely screwed. So, Pro Wrestling Illustrated announced that FTR ranked number one this year in the publication's top 100 tag team list for 2023. This is the announcement they made on Twitter, or as it's known now, X. Congratulations to FTR, Dax and Cash Wheeler, for once again standing tall as PWI's top ranked tag team in the world. Our annual Tag Team 100 ranking is available now in the latest edition of PWI. Hashtag Timeless Tony Storm cover, which is available for purchase via our website. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire top 100 because I have a life and I'm just not going to do that but we will look at the top 10 and first of all I just want to say how, how is FTR top of this list you look at F two fucking bums two guys with zero character zero look just look at the no actually look at the state of them just two fucking flabby guys that are at Av average, below average in every way imaginable. You, you look at, none of them look like stars. None of them have great bodies. They've all got beer guts. They've got no definition. There's no, there's no like, muscle. It's just flabby fucking guys. You look at their attire. You look at their gear. They've got nothing. They've got no personality. They've got no persona. And I get it. They're supposed to be old school wrestlers or whatever, serious wrestlers, but serious wrestlers don't fucking draw in wrestling. Honestly, man, why why can't we just have characters? Why can't we have gimmicks? Now, there's been some boring tag teams over the years in wrestling, but at least the boring tag teams had gimmicks. I look at WWE now, you can argue when they were heading into the Ruthless Aggression era, they did split up. A lot, well, they split up all their best tag teams. Edge and Christian, gone. Hardy's gone. Dudley's gone. And I think over the following years, we did see some tag teams that were pushed a lot and maybe we didn't necessarily like them. There was quite a lot. La Resistance, but at least they had the whole French American hating gimmick. Um, we had the two cowboys, Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch. They had that whole hillbilly bar brawl kind of thing going, a bit like the APA, but not really. Um, Jesse and Festus had that whole mice and men thing going with Deuce and Domino, and that was something like from Greece, you know, two guys from the other side of the tracks with Cherry roller skating. Look, I'm not saying those tag teams were great. But those tag teams had gimmicks. Those tag teams had character. Look at Deuce and Domino. They actually did look like fucking stars. They did when they came out with a leather jacket on and the slick back hair and the sunglasses. They looked like something. Jesse and Festus looked like fucking something where you've got Jesse basically carrying this big retard around with him. That, that was a tag team. That was actually a good tag team. Uh, Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch, two serious fucking guys that would go in into bars and drink beer and get into fit. I mean, what, what do you get with the revival? Oh, we're here to wrestle. We're here to be the best wrestling tag. Fuck that. Nobody cares. That's never drawn any money. Nobody fucking cares. Look at the look at the attitude era. Look how, how uh, popular tag team wrestling was back then. Name me one tag team that was there because they were great wrestlers. Name me one tag team that was there wanting to be the best wrestling tag team. They, they all had fucking gimmicks. They all had gimmicks. New Age Outlaws, APA, Hardys, Dudleys, Edge and Christian, you name them, they had gimmicks. You, you look at these guys and they have nothing. They have fucking nothing. Look at this state, honestly, man. You, you look at um, Dax Hardwood. Look, look at the gut this guy's got on him. This <laughs> just, just not an athletic bone uh, or an uh, impressive fucking, like, from a physical standpoint, bone. In any of these guys' body. They're just like two average guys. These are guys that I would expect to be jobbers. Or just enhancement guys. Having a dark match on Ring of Honor. 
having a dark match on NWA Power. They look like two guys that would just turn up in the 80s and lose in a minute. That's what these guys look like. How the hell we've got to a stage where these two are the best that we have to offer in tag team wrestling it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. So let's quickly look at the list. Uh, number 10, we have 7-Up and Stardom. No idea who it is. Number 9, Damage Control in WWE. They absolutely fucking suck. Number 8, The Judgment Day. Um, they suck. Number 7, The Acclaimed. Probably should be higher, to be fair. I think The Acclaimed are one of the better tag teams that we have today. Uh, number 6, we've got A, B, C and Impact Wrestling. No idea who they are. Number 5, from Impact, it's the Motor City Machine Guns. Haven't been relevant in about 15 years. Number four, we have Bishamon from New Japan Pro Wrestling. No idea who they are. Number three, we have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. WWE already split up. I mean, I guess they did have the major. I think they should be higher. Purely even for the beginning of the tag team. And the storyline and the feud behind Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. 100% they should be above... Um, the, the top two in this list, just just for the way they came together, the whole bloodline storyline where Sami Zayn didn't really want to beat up Owens and then he basically sacrificed his spot in the bloodline to protect Owens and then Owens eventually came around and teamed up and joined forces with Sami Zayn, they defeated the bloodline, they had their wee run as tag team, for me they should be number one on this list. Um, I would say between, uh, yeah, I would go between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and then the Acclaimed. I think the Acclaimed should be a lot higher. I'm a bit surprised that Usos aren't on it, but they have been split up now for a decent amount of time. So, I mean, who cares? Uh, number two, Aussie Open. You talk about another two fucking boring guys that have nothing. Absolutely, I hate Aussie Open. Just what is the point of them? And then number one, guys, FTR. So, yeah, that is it. Uh, just a fucking job or tag team. Job or tag team going absolutely nowhere. FTR absolutely fucking suck. Never rated them, never will. And that is pretty much it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, just, yeah, I mean, this list is terrible. It's a, it's a shocking list. And I know we've heard rumors that McMahon doesn't really care about tag team wrestling, but by God, tag team wrestling in WWE used to be great. Hell, there was a period where tag team wrestling and TNA was booming. I remember you had the Dudleys, you had the Prime Machine Guns, you had Beer Money, the British Invasion, LAX. What happened? What happened to tag team wrestling, guys? Now we're stuck with these fucking 10 shite people and, or 10 shite teams and then a whole bunch of other jobbers making up the top 100. Joke, guys. Absolute joke. Anyway, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace.